I'm going to show you how to set up Ubuntu to use virtual private networks. So this is the latest version of Ubuntu off the Mocha 5 website. It's a beta version 7 that they're working on right now. I'm just going to click download now. I already had the engine installed. So now you can see here's Ubuntu right down here. I'm just going to start it up. Now I just have to wait for it to boot. So the software that I'm going to use to provide the virtual private networking is called Hamachi. And Hamachi is a transparent VPN client that's able to traverse most firewalls without a problem. The idea is that you create a network, and you give it a name, and then you have a bunch of different clients all join that same network. And the free version of Hamachi lets you put up to 16 uh, computers or virtual machines or live PCs all in the same network. And once you do that, then they can all access each other directly as if they were kind of on a local network. Um, the specific GUI that I'm using to make the Hamachi interface easy to work with is called Quamachi. It's based off Python and Qt, and I installed that inside the Live PC, which is posted on the Mocha 5 public website. And you can see here that it automatically runs. It's this box here, Quamachi. So once I have it booted up, choose Connect. And it will go ahead and connect to the Hamachi network. And I go and I click Create. Here's where I type in a network name. So I'm just going to choose the name Live PC One and ASDF is going to be my password. Now you can see that that network has been created. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to choose Connect right on, on that Live PC by right by that network by clicking it, right clicking it and it'll go to green. And at that point, now I'll be able to see other people who are on that network. So now I can take another instance of this live PC that one of my friends had, and I could go to network join. And I would type in live PC 1. And it'll ask me for the password, which is ASDF. I'll enter that in. And I can't actually join it because I was the one who originally created it. But if someone else did that, the join step I just showed you, then you would actually, they would now be on your network. And they get listed under here as uh, a, another node. Now I'm just going to pause this for a second and get another machine joined to this network so I can show you what happens. So I got one of my friends to join my network. And I can now right-click him and choose Browse. And so now I can see the shares that he's kind of he's exposed. So we can share large files, pretty much everything we want right over the network. So this just happens to be the one file he has in that directory. It's a test. Now, if I wanted to share files with him, for example, my live PC local documents, I could right-click that, choose Share Folder, and it's going to ask me for my password to, sh to share things. And the root password for this uh, live PC is M5, unless you changed it. So I'm going to just type in M5. And that's it. Now the cursor will indicate busy. 
it'll ask you what kind of share you want. And uh, I'm going to choose a Windows network share so that it can be browsable by other Windows machines. Um, you could also do the NFS share, but I, I like to use the Samba shares because I often have Windows machines that I would like to access my files from. So voila, that's shared. And now he could right click me in his Komachi client and he would be able to browse my IPC local documents, which just has this one program, VM command, in it. So those are the basics of using Hamachi inside the Ubuntu Live PC. Um, every time a new person subscribes to this Live PC and boots it up, it will automatically create the private key for them that the Hamachi client uses. So everyone will actually have a unique identifier. Uh, the, once you ha actually have this whole system set up, it's also a convenient way to share private web logs or private web services could install a web server into Ubuntu and then directly use it by the IP addresses of your friends or some other naming system so that you would be able to uh, have real private web services and not trust your data to go out to just any schmo web server on the internet. So hope that helps you get going with the Ubuntu IPC. Thank you.